his prominent disciples, who had written a poem saying that the, he'd written a poem addressed to Krishna and he sent it to Srila Prabhupada for approval. And in the poem, the devotee wrote something like this, that, Oh Krishna, your devotee is calling out to you. And Srila Prabhupada wrote back and said, It's a Bengali rendition of the Trina, part of the Trinada P. Sunichena verse. That, Sarvatam, being the topmost, even being on the topmost platform, a great devotee thinks, I am lower than the grass. So it's a great conundrum that it, if we start to, if we try, okay, now my New Year's res, New Year is coming up. It's always coming up in India because there's so many New Year's. There's the Western New Year and then the Canada New Year and the Hindi New Year and the Tamil New Year. Anyway, New Year's resolution. Okay, I'm going to be humble. I'm going to be humble. And then after a few days, two days have gone by, well, I'm really humble. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Yes. So we're caught by being the most humble. So the natural humility comes when one is situated in understanding that I am an eternal servant of Krishna. <clears throat> so if we think, even in devotional service, if we think, Kartaham, I'm doing it, I say, I, I, I'm chanting so many rounds. I'm following Akadashi, Nirjal, every time. So, certainly I, I'm entitled to go back to Godhead. Then we're reminded of the story of the Brahmana and the cobbler. Brahmana who thought, well, I'm doing all the pujas, and I'm very pure, and uh, I, I suppose they're arranging the reception for me in Vaikuntha, special Kumbhabi Shekham for me. But the cobbler, he, he thought, well, I'm just a cobbler, but <coughs> we're indebted to so many. We're indebted to the, <coughs> even dogs and cats have some function to play in human society, apart from being pets. The dogs, watchdogs, cats, they, they uh, help to keep the mice away who are going to, and the rats are otherwise going to eat all your stock of grains. So we're, we're also indebted to them. We have some duty to them also, to relatives especially, to humankind in general. We, we, are, we have so many debts. But Krishna says that one means we're obliged to others. But Krishna says one who takes, well actually it's stated in Bhagavatam, one who takes full shelter of Mukunda, who is the proper person to take shelter of, he is relieved from all obligations. Otherwise, we could never get out of this world because we always have obligations to others. Even if we think, I'll go to the forest and I, w I won't have any dealings with anyone. If I go to the forest. Still breathing there, that's Vayu Devata is providing the air. Uh, so we, we still have a debt to the devas. We, we can't be... Then how can we be free? How do we get free? The answer is by the grace of Krishna. He can free us. He can tell Vayu, okay, let this one go. You're no longer... He's not indebted to you. The demigods themselves, they will appreciate and understand. So... Uh, <coughs> so one becomes free from obligations to others by surrendering to Krishna if we are actually fully surrendered well um, now I'm a Vaishnava so I'm free I can do whatever I like I'm not obliged to anyone Krishna will protect me so I can do what I like then that's the material disease the material disease is to think I can do whatever I like and no one can touch me. We like to be in that. We'd like, if we're not in that position, we'd like to be in that position. Which is, I suppose, why one reason why these uh, 
computer games are very popular in which you can take the role of a not just world conquering but un conquering the universe and all amazing creatures come out and you